No. He deserves more than having that ultimate meme used again. So, after a long ass time and a whole lot of requests, we finally have a video here on Denzel Curry and today, we're going to be covering his fastest verses. Now, real quick before we start, I would like to give a shout out yet again to the Denzel Curry subreddit because without them, this video wouldn't have been possible. They helped me find a lot of the verses on here. The link to their community will be in the description below as a way of thanking them. So with that being said, this is CDTV Productions. Also linked in the description will be my Amino, where you can come and discuss hip hop with me and other hip hop fans such as yourself. And let's look at the 10 fastest Denzel Curry verses. As always, we're going to kick it off with a couple of honorable mentions. So at number 12, we have Narcotics verse 1, where he hits 6.9 syllables per second. This is the one that surprised me the most because when I first heard it, I thought it was an eight syllables per second verse for sure. I'm not sure what makes it slower than it sounds, but I've counted it repeatedly in over 10 seconds. This is the speed that it hits. Amazing verse though. And our next honorable mention at number 11 we have parents verse 1 where he hits seven syllables per second a lot of denzel's nostalgic 64 project has a very gritty sound to it and don't get me wrong that sound is still present here especially with the story denzel is telling but denzel's lyrics sound kind of tongue-in-cheek and it adds a nice humorous layer to the track which helps make it slightly less dark not to mention he's laying down some facts on this one and now at number 10 we have dark tournament verse 2 where he hits seven syllables per second now this track is still pretty damn nice, but you can tell Denzel has come a hell of a long way since this released. The fast rapping part is nice, but you can tell it's a little bit more shaky than it is nowadays. There's still great wordplay on it though, and it apparently samples its instrumental from an anime show theme. I, I really don't watch anime, I'm not interested in it, so I have no clue. But if you are a fan of Yu Yu Hakusho, then I'm sure this track will grab your interest. And at our ninth spot, we have The Federation verse 2, where he hits 7.1 syllables per second. I hadn't heard this song until I did research for this video, but I honestly think it contains one of my favourite Denzel verses. Every single flow he uses on this track is entertaining and all are somewhat rapid whilst switching it really often. I actually had to count like five different sections of this song because he keeps the pace up on almost every different segment of it. It's just great. It's cool to hear Denzel on such a laid back track as well, as most of his catalogue, not all of it, but most of it is fairly dark in terms of tone. And at number 8, we have Lord Vader Kush 2 verse 1 where he hits 7.1 syllables per second. And here we have the only track on this list from 32 Zell, a project which definitely showcases Denzel taking on more of a trap influence. I really love the sound on this project and this song really encapsulates its sound. Spacey melodies, forceful drums and Denzel jumping all over it with his cadences. It's a combo that I really do love. Interestingly, I didn't think this track would be faster than songs like Envy Me or Ultimate which also come from the same project, but by my measurements, this is the fastest one from the EP. And at number 7, we have Flying Nimbus verse 3 where he hits 7.2 syllables per second.
Man, the transition from the second verse, which is performed by Lofty305, into the third verse, which you just heard, is so good on this track. We shift gears insanely quickly from Lofty's confident, mid-tempo flow to Denzel's rapid and turbulent flow in the drop of a hat, and the way it shifts is so great. He absolutely kills it here and brings a hell of a lot of energy and excitement into the song. He does say the band word thought here though, so we might have to copy strike Denzel for that one. That's just not on. At number six, we have Always With Me, verse two, where he hits 7.2 syllables per second. Now, as you can imagine, Ronnie J's production is always a bit hit and miss for me, with me being the old distortion hating boy that I am, but when he doesn't use distorted bass, he can make some beats that I absolutely love, and that is the case with this song. If there's one thing I can say, it's, it's that he programs his 808s like a master. On top of this, Aaron Rose, who the song is by, comes through with a really great verse on here, and you already know Curry came in and slaughtered it. Check this one out if you haven't heard it. And halfway through our list now, at number 5, we have Bloodshed verse 1, where for the third time in a row, he hits 7.2 syllables per second. This is pretty much the song I can credit with getting me back into Denzel's music. One day I just decided to listen to the 13 EP, absolutely loved it, and then went through every single other project Denzel has made. And this song was at the very start of that EP. It pulled me in right away, that dark booming bass produced by Eric Dingus, which, which is a great name, and Denzel's rapid fire rapping with his frenetic flow really got me intrigued in what he was gonna do, and he didn't disappoint. The whole 13 EP is pretty amazing from start to finish in my opinion, but Bloodshed remains as my top track from the short project. Coming in at number 4, we have Unmask verse 1 where he hits 7.6 syllables per second. Here we have a great collab between Denzel Curry, Craig Zen, and Ski Mask the Slump God, who I have also done two Fastest Versus videos on, so those will be linked in the description below if you're interested in that. I can definitely see why this one is faster than a lot of the other tracks on here. On pretty much every bar, Denzel crams as many syllables in as he can, and it makes sure his verse here always has this kind of velocity to it, it just keeps moving forward. Keep moving forward. Everyone on here kills it, brings their own style to the song, and it makes for a brilliant track. Although I won't lie, Craig Zen, he kind of terrified me the first time I heard this song. His voice just kind of came out of nowhere. And at our third spot, we have Talk That Shit, verse 1, where he hits 7.7 7 syllables per second. Here we have what is probably the most trap flavoured track on the N64 album, with a brash sound to the instrumental, and Curry matches this with his lyrics and vocals. Interestingly, the hook on this track is actually Denzel quoting and basically sampling one of his earlier songs, titled Strictly For My Raiders, which is a song I can recommend if you haven't heard some of Denzel's really early material. It's a nice track, and probably one of the hardest ones on Nostalgic 64. And for the second fastest Denzel Curry verse, we have Drogus verse 1 where he hits 7.8 syllables per second. I thought this one would have been number one for sure, but it did miss out on that spot by a small margin. But god damn, does he come right out with the pace at the very start of this verse. It's seriously impressive. This is also probably the most unique track that we have on this list. The beat has a pretty strange 
strange sound to it, and Denzel's vocals are mixed pretty deep into the beat. It creates a very cool sound. I'm not gonna lie though, I, I laughed my ass off when Lofty305 was, was singing about pussy. That part of the song was hilarious. There's like three or four different rappers on this track that aren't Denzel as well, so I'd recommend checking this out if you want to be introduced to some artists who you might not have heard before. And at our number one spot, we have Getting Rich, verse two, where he has 8.1 syllables per second. Bitch, hit me on a 786, you really wanna fix like a plumber, it's a bummer if I pull up in a Hummer, but your daughter had a hundred, so I turn it to a hundred, I don't really give a shit unless you talk about a hundred. Here we have a yet another track on this list that features both Denzel Curry and Mike DC, and I think I've decided I love it whenever these guys collaborate. The other collab they did was also on this list, that being our number 9 song, The Federation, and I love that too. Not to mention, they also both were on the previous song, Drogas. I think it's just cool hearing Denzel over these more light-hearted and airy beats. He absolutely breezes through it with his flow, and raps fast fast enough to get him his first verse that peaks at over 8 syllables per second. So, there you have it. Getting Rich contains the fastest Denzel Curry verse that he has laid down so far. And that is going to be it for the video today guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you didn't, and let me know down in the comments below if there's any verses that you think I might have somehow missed from this, uh, from this list. Like I said, I had the help of the Denzel Curry subreddit and their community is linked down below, and like I said, also down there is other fastest verses videos I've done and the link to my amino. Yeah, I think that's all I got to say today guys, so happy to finally have a video out on Denzel, because like I said, after I listened to the 13 EP, I fell in love with his music. I, I'm really loving it right now. I can't wait for Taboo. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you all in the next one. And this is your boy, CDTV Productions, signing out.